If the Tenryo Commission won't assist in dealing with the thunderstorm, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's not that we're unwilling to do our part. We just don't have any spare hands right now. I hope you can understand. Exactly. So let's keep the discussion going and see if we can find a solution. Hey, Toma! What's going on? Ah, hello, you two. We were just talking about what an impact you've made in Inazuma. Ah, what a coincidence. Greetings. Thank you both again for delivering Miss Hiragi's letter that time. Ah, so they're friends of yours. I'm Master Kamaji's servant. Call me Ippe. Sounds like you're having some trouble. Well, the Tri Commission's work used to consist of gathering information for the Shogun and carrying out any duties she assigned. But recently, she announced that she wishes to spend some time in solitude and self-reflection. Since she is refusing to receive any visitors, there is no one to tell us what to do. We all understand if the Shogun needs some quiet time to gather her thoughts. The only problem is, in the meantime, the thunderstorm out at sea has been getting wilder. Ah. Uh, oh, I hear that storm represents the Shogun's will. Yep, that's the one. And all the time it's been there, the storm has never changed in shape or size. But now, it seems to be drawing closer to Inazuma. What? So her will's changed and she wants to destroy Inazuma now? Or is this her way of trying to get revenge on us? Uh, A little childish. Oh yeah, you're right! If she really wanted to get revenge on us, she could just strike us with lightning right here! Which would also be pretty scary! <laughs> I don't think you need to worry about that. The reason we're concerned is that we've never known the almighty Shogun's will to falter before. Considering Liyue's god left not too long ago, it's hard not to take it as a bad sign. A lot of people now believe that the thunderstorm is getting wilder because the almighty Shogun is having health problems. The fact that she won't see anyone right now makes us concerned that things are only going to get worse. That seemed like a valid concern, yes? Right. So, before rumors start spreading, Miss Kamisato got me to come here and discuss countermeasures with the Tenryo Commission. We need Unfortunately, Whoops. the oh reality is that the Tenryo Commission is facing huge internal instability at the moment. The Kujo clan has lost control over the other clans. Huh? Why is that? The Kujo clan is still awaiting the Shogun's trial for colluding with the Fatui and nearly destroying the whole of Inazuma. Uh... Everyone knows that a change of commissioner is inevitable. It's just a matter of time before the Almighty Shogun hands down her decree. To put it simply, no one will take orders from the Kujo clan anymore, but there's still work that has to be done. <sighs> if Mr. Takayuki was in better health, there might be a way through, but now... My lack of ability is to blame. I failed to uncover the truth in time, and I failed to stop my father. And now, as acting head of the clan, I'm failing to quell the unrest. Don't blame yourself, Master. You have to at least keep your chin up until your older brother returns. The Kujo clan can't cope with any more instability in its current state. Yes, you're right. Masahito has enough on his plate at the moment. Mustn't cause any more issues for him. Okay, Toma, let's revisit this discussion in a few days. Right now, I need to go visit Takatsukasa Susumu, head of the Takatsukasa clan. He's the only one capable of taking charge of the situation now. I suppose. Well, okay, no problem. A speedy resolution to the Tenryo Commission's internal issues is in our best interest as well. I'll come with you, Master. No need. I'll handle this by myself. Oh, uh, okay. Take care then. Come back soon. If you think about it, both the thunderstorm situation and the issue with the Tenryo Commission have been caused by the Shogun's decision to take some time off, right? If things carry on like this, people will start to panic! Maybe we could invite her for a while? Huh? You can actually do that? Don't know for sure, but we may as well try! Whether she takes us up on the offer or not will depend on what mood she's in. Sounds like you guys know what to do. Uh, shall I leave it up to you then? Uh, you know, everyone's worrying about the Shogun's condition, but if people got to see her in person, it would put their fears to rest. Yeah, I'll try to do something about that. <sighs> Thank you very much. I owe you one, again. 
The way Paimon sees it, there's only one person who might have the chance to see the Shogun while she's isolating, right? That will be Miko. Let's take a trip to the Grand Narukami Shrine! So you want A to come out instead of just bringing the Shogun, am I right? I mean, it's a chance to get to know more about A. Hello, Yai. I wasn't expecting to receive VIP shrine visitors during downtime. <laughs> so I suppose you're here just to visit me? Oh, why, yes, of course. What a smooth talker. Though your eyes do not lie as convincingly as your tongue. You came because you need my <laughs> help, didn't you? Uh. Still, your answer has put me in a good mood. So tell me, what is the matter? We heard the Shogun decided to take a break, and since then the thunderstorm around Inazuma has gotten wilder! Rumor has it that the thunderstorm is affected by the Shogun's will, so people are worrying that something might be wrong with her. The Tanria Commission also needs her attention. <sighs> All right. There's little purpose in keeping anything hidden from you anyway. Since the battle, the Shogun has been greatly troubled and her temperament has changed drastically. What? Her temperament? Her power was already on the decline. Then you dealt her that fateful strike. The defeat was a heavy blow to her. It also didn't help that I forgot to bring her some tricolor dongo and light novels when I went to see her. Okay, what is this? Oh, the poor thing. Without desserts and books to console herself with, she was so angry she quite simply lost it. Crying and ranting and raving. Oh, I could hardly bear to see her that way. Are you sure? Desserts and books? That sounds so childish. It's not beyond the realm of possibility. But I don't believe you. <laughs> Before you get too indignant, consider the fact that your concerns sound every bit as nonsensical to me as that blatant lie did to you. Ah. A seeks eternity. To her, mortal lives come and go in the blink of an eye. Of what consequence to her are mortal concerns for her well-being? She's fine, right? I don't know the details. She said she wanted to rest, and I have nothing pressing that requires her attention. So there is no reason to disturb her. I have heard about the thunderstorm, though. As to the cause, it is not inconceivable that, as you suggest, her will has wavered somewhat. Uh, um, definitely. Definitely all the more reason to check on her. I am the only one in all of Inazuma who can visit her while she is resting. But tell me, why should this concern me? Why should I do this for you, when I already have everything one could ever want, and have seen everything one could ever wish to see? Uh, you can do it for A. And the people of Inazuma. <laughs> I like that answer. Here is the pass permit. Show it to the Okuzumeshu at the gate, and he will let you in. Thanks, Miko! My question was in jest, but since you answered it in earnest, please stay true to your word. Uh, okay. Oh, and don't forget to return the pass permit to me after you have finished with it. 